It's called Ngimdi, which, um, which means fist in Isaphosa. And it was in, for me, it was inspired by um, my grandmother and my mother, how they carry themselves, their images, and more specifically, the experiences of the black female bodies are more political. And for me, that they carried that image of a fist. We're trying to make sense who Ingrid is, the woman, and we're trying to make sense of her through different women, through different experiences, that there's no one story, that there are numerous stories, that a black body can be complex. A black body doesn't have to have one story. And for me, I've always, always um, found the importance of the body being able to speak. Because the experiences are in the body, the body can express more than the actual text. Noam Kibisi is one of the few people that I've enjoyed working with because she has no conception of this is your body and so your body should resp respond in a different way. She's always interested in the physical language, so what is the vocabulary of the piece? And then she starts creating, as opposed to being like, oh, you are a black body, so I would prefer if you were more primal, you know? And I've heard someone say that to me, and I, in <laughs> the 21st century and I was like um that sounds like a 16th century racist column <laughs> that doesn't sound quite right or um appropriate at this point I think the problem um often with people when they see black bodies on stage is that they assume that there needs to be some socio-political statement that's being made. They assume that you're going to talk about struggle, or you're going to talk about domestic work, or you're going to talk about rape. And that's, I think, deeply patronizing and problematic. I have nine months old, and the images that she is exposed of are not representing who black females really are. Because if we try as black females to reveal more images of us and reimagine ourselves, then the younger generation won't be as confused, I hope. In many ways, I, I don't want to say, I hope one day I can just walk on stage and no one recognizes that I'm black and female. Um, because that's a feature of how I've grown up and that's my experience of the world. I think the onus actually is on us to just create more work, particularly for black females. We need to start just creating work without trying to put it in particular boxes or if you want to talk about maids, then talk about maids. If you want to talk about minors, then talk about minors. If you want to talk about people being raped, then talk about people raped. If you want to talk about existential stuff, then talk about that as well. And I think those things need to be in conversation with one another. There's different faces of blackness as opposed to just pigeonholing people in, in particular roles. Um, I think that's our particular burden as theatre makers. We've all said that this is the last time we're going to talk about black <laughs> female bodies because I think that's, that's, that's getting boring. I think we're more than our blackness now. We need to come to a point where we are indifferent to difference, but recognise the difference does mean certain things for certain people and um, try to address that as, 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 as usefully and as meaningfully as possible.